This is Simple Machines, Lesson 6, More Levers. So in this lesson, students are going to be experimenting with second class and third class levers. So in the first experiment, they had their lever arm set to the center fulcrum, which made that a first class lever. In this experiment, students are going to be moving the fulcrum on the Simple Machine stand so they can test the different advantages of different kinds of levers. So for these experiments, students are going to be placing all five washers in the box and securing that with a rubber band. Again, they're going to be fastening the S-hook to the box so that they can hang it off of the lever arm. To begin, the student booklet contains the different locations of where they should place the fulcrum on their simple machine stand. So for example, instead of placing it in the middle, they can place it at the 15 centimeter mark, like so, or the 25 centimeter mark. They should then place their load, or the washers, on one end of the lever arm, like so, and then their spring balance on the other end, and then reporting how much effort it takes to pull down the load. To do this, students might have to have it towards the edge of a table so that they can spring, pull the spring balance down far enough to get an accurate reading, like so. Students can also measure distance using another ruler, the same way they did with the first experiment. Once students have this chart filled out in the student workbook, they can discover and talk in the group about what is different between a second class lever and a first class lever. Students should find that it took a little bit more effort to use a second class lever. To continue the experiment, students are going to experiment with third class levers. To do this, students are going to place the very end of their lever arm on the sitting machine stand and attempt to bring that down with the spring balance. They're going to find that this is very difficult to do, in fact, and it takes more effort to do it than it would just with their hands. Once students are done with that, they can record what they've discovered in their student booklets, discuss it as a class, and that concludes Lesson 6.